So, if you've been following along, you know I just used a new beard shaping tool called Rebo Beard. And you also, um, if you've been following along, you saw me use it. And, you know, did the job pretty good. Um, but you also know there were three black triangles right here. We go beard in black and three black triangles. Three black triangles on the opposite side, no um, branding. So <sighs> that washed off too freaking easily. And um, I'm not impressed with this tool. Not because simply some paint washed off, uh, mainly because if you can follow my channel, you've seen this design before. And um, I might be. Too, you know, too overly concerned about it, but you all know this is still my this is my current tool, my favorite tool, still is, and it's the room, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you see it. The moment I bought this, the moment this tool came in delivery, I pulled out the package and I looked and I said, nah. I got the same freaking tool. So I pulled them both out. Lo and behold. It's the same freaking tool. This is just a little bit thicker. Now it's flexible. And as you can see, the branding, they didn't care for the branding being etched into the plastic to where it doesn't come off. Even my exact beard, the, the branding doesn't come off. The guy bought the branding doesn't just come off. This is plastic. And this, you can feel it. This was a uh, I'm not sure the process of how it's got on here. But you see the colors don't even really cut off except for where they're scratched up at where they're you know physical use, repeated use. That's brought this off. Um uh, and so I'm not impressed with this tool, man. At, at all. And I will say this, if you already have the room buddy. Do not get Revo Beard. If you already have Revo Beard, do not get Groom Buddy. You're getting the same, exact same tool. Uh, I'm saying very minute differences. It's thicker in the middle. It has like a little chamfered edge. So, you can, so if you're using um, a conventional razor, like a, a Schick or a Gillette, you should be able to just kind of come down, straight down. This was more, this is flat. So if you come down, you probably will catch the razor, you probably will catch. That's the only neat thing about this, but you guys know. Especially for a bigger guy, the flexibility to be able to do this with one hand and just kind of hold it there. This one, you have to get it and literally just kind of push it in because you don't have that flexibility. So you got to get it, got to push it in and make it work. So, bam, you see how flush on the face this fits. So I got it straight. Bam, cross, I'm good to go. Quickly, you know, easy to use, quick to use. Still my number one, still my favorite tool, even though it's not the most popular tool right now. And typically that's how it goes. I bought this because I saw it on another channel. It's like, hey, it's a popular tool. I see why people like it. Uh, and now I got it, and I'm like, it's just, it doesn't compare. It doesn't. Uh, that's cool with the champions, but I use a safety razor, which if you're not careful, it's going to catch regardless on this edge. And uh, I don't want to cut my face up. And I said, all right, I, I nick my head. You know, I do pretty good about not nicking my, you know, my scalp. But every now and again, I still get it. And there might be a bump I don't, I don't catch. I'm so I, I catch it if you get my drift. But it's the same exact tool. If you have one, there's no need for the other. Honestly, I would go with the boom buddy, especially if you're a big guy like me. If you're, you know, 200 something plus pounds, uh, you got fat in the face, this helps you kind of contour. This one, you're a big guy, you might kind of dig into your, your cheek and your chin, and it's not going to come from experience, especially if you use some trimmers or if you're trying to use a razor to get in there. You might catch skin, you might nick yourself, and that's not a good look. To have a crispy beard line and a whole bunch of tiger marks go up your face looking like a white tiger ranger, uh, power ranger help. That's not a good look. So I say go with the boom, but it's still one of my favorites. Um, this is a remote beard, you have to look at the video. I know you look like that, it's a piece of plastic. The branding just came, so it came off. I didn't use it, so it just happened to, um, to 
should talk about some of the, the uh, <laughs> the shaving cream off, and off came Brandy with the shaving cream. So, I guess that on that, uh, I said, if you, if you get it by one, you get to try to get the other one, you're going to be wasting 10 bucks. You better spend that 10 bucks, uh, spending a few more bucks extra, and probably getting the cut buddy or the guy bar or even the Zach Beard, depending on what you're trying to go for. But for me and big guys like myself, I highly suggest the Boom Buddy over any of my other tools. That I have, and I like the guy bar. I like the cut buddy. Like I said, the cut buddy, uh, and I like the exact beer. Exact beer would be number one, of course. If it was flexible, uh, then it'd be guy. Then it'd be cut buddy. Then it'd be guy bar. And so, uh, with that, let's not waste our money, the people. Why? Because you see on a different channel, don't mean the squad. Same exact tool. I mean, I'm not even sure. It might be the same company, just have different little, little sub brands, but. I go with one buddy. Multiple uses. I've had this for a few months now, and this is the most attacked to it. All the little scratches. Please, one time, and all the, and all the branding and marketing and everything that made it look fancy came smooth off. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace and blessings.